Hey everybody, it's Stan aka Vim Lassus, and we're back doing another review here at Vim's Toy Box. Now we are going to continue taking a look at the Marvel Legends Man-Thing Build-A-Figure Wave, and today we're going to be taking a look at Jessica Jones. Uh, now we've already looked at Blade and Elektra, and both of those were pretty good figures, so I'm hoping this one will continue that trend, and I have a feel pretty good feeling it will. Um, now, here we have just, you know, your regular Marvel Legends box. Got your nice big window on the front. We see Jessica Jones. Now, I have no clue what her story arc is. And like I said, I haven't really watched the Netflix series. So, yeah, I'll be basing this just on the figure itself. On the side, we have some cool artwork. And on the back, we have her nice promotional photo with her bio. You see all the other figures you get in his wave. Daredevil, Punisher, Electro. We've looked at Jessica Jones, Blade, and Bullseye. And then on this side, uh, that same kind of artwork. So let's get her out of the box and take a look and see what we got. All right, and here she is all out of the box and looking pretty cool, I gotta say. Um, now she doesn't come with a whole lot and she is pretty plain, you know, just in these jeans and this jacket. Um, but what is here is done pretty well. I like some of the things they've done. Uh, so far, we're just kind of playing with her. I haven't seen anything that you know, I really don't like, so this should be a pretty solid figure. Um, so we'll take a look at her, we'll go over some of the details, you know, the articulation and things like that, and uh, we'll, we'll get a little closer look at her and see where she stacks up with the others in this wave. So let's get to it. All right, um, taking a look at her details, um, like I said, she is pretty plain. Uh, there's not a lot going on. She's got this black t-shirt here with this leather jacket and, you know, these jeans and boots. So, really not a lot. Um, but, you know, taking a look at her face, uh, the face sculpt is really, really nice on this. I like this a lot. Um, the paint is pretty good. The eyes are a little off to me. I can't tell if one's higher than the other or if they're just placed too far in. Um, but pretty good from a distance it looks great as soon as you kind of really look at it that's you know kind of where it starts falling apart but not bad at all uh, some great sculpting detail here in the hair i love the way that they've done this now it will limit the articulation a little bit and we'll take a look at that in uh, just a minute but it looks great um no wash on here like we saw with electra you know where it kind of helps bring it out a little bit she doesn't have a lot so yeah not too bad. It was such a simple character. I would have thought maybe they could have done a little more with the hair. But like I said, I haven't seen the series, so I don't know if her hair is pure dark like this. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but like I said, pretty simple. Some great wrinkles going on here in the arm. I love this jacket. See how pliable this is? This almost feels like a leather jacket. Um, and that looks really cool. Uh, some nice details with the zippers and, you know, the little... Uh, pocket pouches going on here and the zippers all the way around and again some nice nice sculpting detail not too much just enough to let you know it's cloth uh, coming down to the jeans you know again pretty simple but you know good job on here um, now on the jeans they did do some nice extra painting on here to give it that worn look uh, so we do get some really nice details again very little uh, sculpting detail going on here but you know what is here is done really really well again oh stupid numbers god why um and then looking down at the boots uh pretty simple i assume they're boots you know because these pieces are loose and they do kind of move around a bit but so i'm assuming they're boots i'm guessing that's just for articulation wise um but they look pretty good so overall pretty decent job with this figure it looks great um now, it's nice to see that they can kind of go back and, and do these simple characters, you know. Uh, I've already said, if you can't get the simple ones looking perfect, how are you going to get the complex ones looking great? So, um, I think by them doing this, um, definitely helps with the more complex characters. So, the simple ones look fantastic. Hopefully, the ones with a little more detail on them, a little more uh, oomphah, should we say, uh, should look better. So, now that they've perfect, perf perfected, what the hell was that? perfected these simple characters um the more complex ones should look a lot better so hasbro you're doing a great job let's keep it up uh, so let's take a look at what she comes with all 
Alright, this section is going to be very short because what she comes with is absolutely nothing. She comes with the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure body. Um, but that's for the Build-A-Figure. What does she come with? Nothing. Not a zilch. No weapons, no bags, no guns, nothing. But she does come with this. All right, taking a look at the articulation. Uh, this is your standard Marvel Legends female stuff, and I say female because for one main reason. But let's take a look um, at her overall articulation. So her head, she can look down quite a little bit, not too great. Now she can't look up all that much, and that's just because of this hair, the way it hits the jacket. Uh, she can rotate side to side, and not much tilt. Uh, down to the arm, she does have the single ball joint, which raises that far pretty damn good uh, the arm can spin all the way around there is no upper arm rotation followed by a single jointed elbow this is where I talk about female Marvel Legends articulation <clears throat> excuse me they only like to do just the single jointed elbows uh, no lower arm rotation wrists do spin around and hinge in and out now carrying on from Electra they do have just a single ball joint in here which gets you an amazing amount of movement so she can look down that far look back like that does to get some great side to side this is just cementing my point why I like the ball joints instead of the ab crunches now like I said this is pretty pliable so it does really get out of the way uh, down to the way she does have the ball joint in the hips so she can kick forward that far can't come back at all must be the jeans uh, she does have upper leg rotation followed by double jointed knees which gets her to about there. There is no boot cut but like I said these do kind of move. So when the foot comes up you get pretty good range of motion there. They go back and she does have great ankle pivot. So like I said your standard Marvel Legends stuff with the inclusion of this fantastic ball joint. Man I love these. I could just sit here and do this all day long so great job on your articulation but let's get these uh, female figures some double jointed elbows please all right now taking a look at her size comparison here she is with the other two figures that we've already taken a look at in this wave Electra and Blade and they scale pretty well Again, like I said, I haven't seen a series, so I don't know how accurate this is. Um, but these guys look fantastic together. Uh, these guys are about the same height, you know, same build. And they look really, really good, besides the Popeye arms here. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but as far as scale-wise, I think these guys look really nice together. All right, so my final thoughts on this figure are, it's pretty good. <clears throat> Another solid uh, figure in the Marvel Legends from Hasbro. Um, they've done a really good job. Uh, they did some, you know, paint wash on the jeans, and I really, really like this jacket. Now, she is pretty simple, and she doesn't come with a whole lot, or actually, she comes with nothing. Um, but it's a solid, solid figure. I know I've said solid a couple times, and solid usually means it's a eh. You know, but there is nothing to, you know, write home about and go, holy shit, look at that. Um, but it's a good figure. Um, it'll look good on the shelf and it'll look good in pictures. Um, and, you know, for you custom guys out there, this is probably great custom fodder. Um, so pretty good. Um, so if you like to review, hit that like button down below. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can take a look at all the videos as soon as they are released as we will continue to look at the Marvel Legends man thing build a figure wave and uh, join us for the next review. All right, peace.